want to do this kind of video na may onting chikahan sa inyo tungkol sa personal life ko um, para naman makilala nyo din ako kasi habang tumatagal ang building up my channel na para maging stronger yung bond natin, makilala nyo ako tapos para, para mag-grow yung connection if that makes sense para mas makilala nyo ako lalo so let me introduce myself I'm Angel Ekam. You can call me Angel and my friends minsan tawag na sa akin is Egam. You can call me Egam din naman para maging informal, parang wala lang, nakakatuwa lang din. Nasanay din ako na Egam tawag sa akin. I'm currently um, studying in Mapua, taking the course of ECE, Electronics Engineering. So, I'm in my third year now. I'm in my first first term of third years. And then, nag-aaral ako sa Mapua Intramuros. Dati, hindi ko talaga alam kung ano yung course na take ko. But, um, lagi yung sinasabi ng mama ko na nung bata pa ako, I really like um, math or nag-e-excel ako sa math and matataas yung grades ko nung kinder pa lang ng math. And then, I said myself na I really like puzzles, guys. Yung re repetitive um, solving puzzles. So, and I, I really enjoy doing fraction, simple, multiplication, ganyan, algebra. I really like them kasi paulit-ulit siya. Different variables lang. Tapos, um, you just need a formula and then gagawin mo na yung, ano, yung problem solving ng paulit-ulit. And then, dahil kami yung first batch of, ano, senior high, we don't really have any background about tracks like STEM, ABM, general academics, humes, like ganyan. Wala talaga ako, pero I really want to challenge myself. Kaya kahit hindi, hindi pa ako sure kung anong course kita take ko, tinake ko na yung STEM. Kasi, merong math. <laughs> so, tinake ko na yung STEM dahil may math. I don't even know anong course kita take ko. Basta may math lang. So, tinake ko na siya. And then, I remember in my senior high, specifically in grade 12, um, nagkriyote kami. Like, we're creating a circuit para kami manufacturer ng board, circuit board. And then, nag-enjoy talaga ako, guys. So, napasok na sa utak ko na gusto kong mag-engineer. And then, sabi ko, okay lang kahit mag-electrical ako, okay lang din na mag-civil ako, okay lang din mag-computer um, engineering ako. And then, tanong ako yung mama ko, anong magandang engineering course ba itetake ko? So, sabi niya, maganda or malaki ang sahod na electronics. Kasi may kakilala nga din siya sa Saudi. And then, sabi niya din, sa Saudi, sobrang taas ng sahod na mga electronics. So, pinush ako ng mama ko na itetake ko na yung electronics course. Kasi sabi ko, okay, gusto ko lang naman mag-engineer. Okay, sige electronics na. And then, ayun guys, nag-take ako sa Mapua ng electronics. Nang ganun lang, dali-dali lang. Hindi ako masyadong namoblema na like indecisive kung anong course to take ko, ganyan. Kasi, dati pa talaga, I really want to add something on my name. So, it's either Dr. Egam, Attorney Egam, Engineer Egam, something like that. So, gusto ko talaga... <laughs> Gusto ko talaga ng engineer to have my own license um, na ma ma masabihan ako na professional engineer ako. So, persugi ko yung electronics kasi may board exam kami. So, diba, masyadong broad yung pangarap ko. Like, sobrang masyadong mataas na yes, mahirap i-attain. Kailangan ng hard work, hindi lang basta-basta. Pero, tumatag lang sa utak ko na, okay, kung mahirap, I will try. There's no bad. Walang masama na mag-try. So, kahit mahirap, okay lang i-take ko. Ano ba? Alam ko, yung mga viewers ko din, mga halos students din kayo. And then, I know, yung iba dyan, di pa nakapag-figure out kung ano yung kinabukasan nila or ano yung plans nila. Kung anong course ba take kung maganda ba to, kung mahirap ba to. Kung gusto mo bang i-continue yung passion mo, yung sa parents mo. Kasi for sure, yung mga parents nyo, may mga suggestions din yan. But of course, don't try ignoring your parents. They have this, ano, suggestion para sa inyo. Take your line, then pag may gusto kayong course na gustong-gustong-gustong nyo talaga, just 
make a list kung bakit magandang course yun. Para makundin si mga parents nyo. Lalo na sa mga parents na strict. They think na yung gusto mo is not worth it, blah, blah, blah. Pakita mo sa kanila bakit gusto mo tong course na to. Bakit worth it ng time mo tong course na to. Just tell them na, Ma, I really like this course. This course has, um, if I, I will take this, maganda yung future ko. I can see myself doing this with other, um, with other company. I can see myself engaging with clients. Diba? And then for those students na, okay, yung mga nanonood na senior high, na walang, walang idea ko anong course itake nila, just ask yourself, anong subject ka nag-e-excel or e-enjoy na aralin? So, habang senior high ka, you can ask yourself if you enjoy gen mathematics. If you like um, science, planets, geometry, geology, if you like rocks, if you like astronomy. Wait lang, high school, di ba? Ano bang pinag-aaralan sa high school? Algebra, trigo, entrepreneur. Yeah, entrepreneur. Pinag-aaralan na yan. Entrepreneurship. If you could think something na nai-enjoy mo, and then search for a course na applicable in that area. If you like drawing, there's animation or illustrator job for you. Actually, madami. If you like photography, multimedia arts, filming, you can take that. Actually, search for anything. Or if you like cars, meron tayong mechanical automotive. If you're a boy, usually mga boy yung in love ng mga cars eh. Paano ginagawa yung cars? Ano yung magandang model ngayon nasa market? You can be a mechanical engineer specifically to automotive. Or if you like robots. Robotics, pwede din sa mechanical yun. And then, if you're someone na currently taking college right now, lalo na mga fresh ngayon, or higher batch, if my viewer ako ng mas matanda sa akin na graduating na, and then sa stress sa college, lalo sa mga fresh kasi new environment para sa kanila yan eh. Just keep yourself motivated, guys. Always think na kapag may ginagawa kang assignment, may ginagawa kang homework, tapos stress na stress ka, sabi mo, ba't ba ako nag-engineer? Ba't ba ako nag-civil? Bakit ba ako nag-multimedia arts? Bakit ba ako nag-finance? Accountancy, business management. Hirap na hirap na ako, stress na stress na ako. Actually, ako din guys, umaabot din ako sa point na ganyan, na stress na ako, gusto ko na, like, napapaisip na ako mag-shift. Just keep ourselves reminded na ito mga effort na ginagawa natin, ito mga project natin, thesis natin, research project natin, or kaya ask ourselves if ito mga effort na ginagawa natin, work, project, or kahit ano man yan, is it worth it for a client to pay you a huge amount of money? Or is it worth it for your boss compliment? Diba? Kung makikita mo yung worth ng trabaho na ginagawa mo ngayon as a student, you will see yourself in the future as a employee or employer. Kapag as a student pa lang, nakikita mo na ang galing kong mag-manage ng business, so, for sure, in the future, you'll be a huge successful owner of a business. Kung stress ka man, dami ginagawa, tanoyin mo lang sarili mo na is it worth it for a high-paying job? Kasi kahit i-deny natin, guys, passion plus money is 100% satisfactory. Kaya, yun! So, I'm done with my face. Nagkaroon lang din ng mini TED Talk. If you want to see me to do my reporting, just keep on watching. Mini of OTD for the reporting part. Um, so this is one of my suggestion na plain shirt lang. Ito lang nun mahikita eh. So ang maganda lang talaga is yung neckline ng shirt. Simple lang. Pwede ito. So pwede ito or kaya ito. So this is a common polo. I think everyone owns a polo. So for sure, uh, may mga prof talaga na nabibigay ng points if nahikita nila na your a your presentation is 
visually a pleasing or maganda sa mata yung report mo and how you deliver yourself in your report. And the last thing is a formal attire. Lalo na pag meron kayong defense guys. Usually ito sa nagagamitin ko pag meron kaming defense sa klase mismo. If gusto mo maging extra, lagyan mo siya ng Cool. Ay, ito yung pinakagusto ko sa defense eh. Like, mag-dress up ka as professional. Ano, you're doing something professional in front of the class. Tapos magbaban kang ganyan. Guys, para na baka professional, ano ko? Professional something. Ang disente lang talaga tingnan pag inaayos mo yung sarili mo. And na-excite lang ako na mag, ano, to impress my professor. <laughs> dress up guys. I will choose the polo lang kasi this is just a report. This is not a defense. So every powerpoint sinisave ko siya as a jpeg. Mas convenient sa akin na tuloy-tuloy yung pagfi-film ko kapag ginagamit ko na yung cellphone ko or yung camera ko. And then mamaya ko na i-include yung powerpoint mismo. So dahil tayo ay magre-report na babaro ko lang yung tong camera na gamit ko sa vlog ha Hi so I'm currently editing my report so simple simple yung ginagawa ko um ginagawa ko lang ini-insert ko yung video sa picture ng PowerPoint so ganyan lang siya and then ayan mabilis lang and I forgot to end the video so I'm here to end the video. So thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!